So let's talk about property number five. So what's property number five? Property number five says that if, if A and B are non-zero integers, okay? What is it? What does it mean? A and B are non-zero integers and, and let's say A divides B and B also divides A. Let's say this is there. Then this can happen only when A is equal to plus minus B. Okay. So again, we can take an example and understand A divides B. Let's say uh, 7 divides 7. Okay. And 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 so let's say this is a and this is b so 7 clearly divides b obviously this this 7 divides so let's say if this was a this was a and this was b so in this case this b goes here and this a comes here so this is true this is so hence we see that a is equal to plus b so this is one case another case is when let's say 7 divides minus 7 and and minus 7 divides 7. Second case number 2. Again in this case, this was my A, this was B, and here this is B and this is A. Correct? So if you see, this holds true only when A is equal to plus minus B. So otherwise there is no other possibility. So you can take another example which, you know, uh, where A and B are not same. Let's, let's say 7 divides 14. Okay, so 7 divides 14. So let's say this is A and this is B. Yeah, but under no circumstances we can say that 14 divides 7. Yeah, it is not true. Why? Because we don't we don't have any integer C such that 7 is equal to 14 times C by the definition of divisibility. So hence there exists. This is not an integer, not an integer, not an integer. So it doesn't hold okay this was property number five please remember these properties now property number six property number six says let's talk about property number six property number six says if a is non-zero integer property number six if a is non-zero integer see in every property this has been highlighted so please be very careful if a is non-zero integer and b and c are b and c are any two integers any two integers and again one point to be highlighted is we are talking only with only about integers right then then if if a divides b and it's given that a divides c okay it's given it's given then then we know that first property is first property is a divides let me just enumerate it so a divides first of all b plus c okay second is a divides b minus c third is third is a divides b times c and fourth is a divides b times x for for any other integer x any the integer x so these are these are very vital properties now let us take examples and understand so let's say a is equal to 3 so and uh, b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 12 okay so clearly a divides b yeah 3 divides 6 clearly a divides c also because 3 times 4 is 12 so a divides b and a divides c holds now let's check what is b plus c b plus c is equal to 6 plus 12 which is 18 so clearly clearly a divides b plus c okay let's find out b minus c so this is property number one validated property number two b minus c is 6 minus 12 minus 6 clear so if you see a again 3 divides minus 6 clear why because 3 divides minus 6 
because 3 into minus 2 will give you minus 6. So 2 is also validated. Point number 3, property number 3. Let's find out B into C. B into C is 6 into 12 is 72. So clearly A divides BC. That is, this implies 3 divides 72. Clearly, isn't it? 3 times 7, 24 is 72. So 3 divides 72. This is also looks like true. Fourth is, let's say x is 5. So let's say x is, let's say x equals to 5. So bx will be 6 into 5, that is 30. Okay. So clearly, a divides bx as well. Yeah, because, because 3 divides 30, that means 3 into 10 is 30. So point is, all those are true. But how do we prove that? How do we prove that? So uh, proving is also not that uh, difficult. So let's, you know, I'll do one proof for you guys and then you can treat, take others as practice. So let's say if A divides B, if A divides B, so I can say B is equal to, B is equal to K times A or let's say K1 times A where K1 is an integer. K1 is an integer by our definition of divisibility. Now, similarly, A divides C, so I can say C is equal to K2 times A for another K2, which is an integer. K2 is an integer, isn't it? So now let's say B plus C. What is B plus C? B plus C will be K1A plus K2A, which can be written as K1 plus K2 times A. Now, if you see K1 plus K2, if K1 is an integer, K2 is an integer, so this sum of two integers always is an integer. So this is an integer, let's say k. So hence I can say b plus c is equal to k into a. That means what do I know? a divides b plus c. So this is the proof. Okay, so you guys can try the similar proving for all the other uh, properties. Okay, so let's go to property number seven. So property number seven will do here. Okay, so here we are going to discuss property number seven. What is property number seven? Seven is seven is um, yeah property number seven. So I hope you guys are jotting down. If not, then you can pause the video and always jot down the property. So property number seven says. If a and, a and C are non-zero integers, if A and C are non-zero integers, and B and D are any two integers, and B and D are any two any two integers 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 then 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 property number one seven one is if a divides b and c divides d c divides d this implies a c divides b d this is property number one seven one and seven two is a c a c divides b c AC divides BC, this means A divides B. A divides B. So let's take a, you know, example and then uh, we'll try to validate it. So let's take this one first. Okay, so A divides B and C divides B. So let's say 3 divides 12, right? And uh, 5 divides, let's say 25. Correct? This is, so what is A? So A is 3, B is 12, C is 5 and d is 25 okay so our two conditions hold so now let's find out ac so ac is nothing but 3 into 5 which is 15 okay and bd is 12 into 25 which is 300 okay so if you see clearly 15 which is ac divides 300 this is AC, this is BD, right? <coughs> Sorry. So 15 into 20, 
15 into 20 will give you 300 so hence 15 divides 300 so this is this looks like uh, valid but this is not a proof so you have to prove it also let's you know after discussing uh, point number two and then we'll see proofs yeah so now again let's say ac and bc ac divides bc so let's take an example so um in this case itself let's see three into um three into let's say ac was 15 right and bc is 12 yeah so let's say three into five three into five clearly divides b in, so b was 12 12 into 5 3 into 5 divides if this is true is it true yes it is true how 15 divides uh, 60 why 12 into 5 is 60 3 into 5 is 15 so clearly 15 divides 60 how 15 times 4 will give you 60 so 15 divides 60 clearly so hence we say that 3 also will divide 12 which is also true so hence both these properties seem to be true but let's try and understand the proof of it so let's try the proof of point number one point or property number seven one so what is the proof so let us see here now so it's it said that proof of so let's try we are trying to prove proof of what seven one and then seven two again you can try at home if not then you can always put it as a comment okay um a divides b so by our definition i can say b is equal to k1 a again where k1 is an integer similarly i can say d is equal to k2 c where k2 is also an integer by our definition of divisibility we just learned this now multiply both of them so hence i can say b um a yeah let's this is one let's just say this is one and this is two so we can multiply the two equations and say left hand to left hand and right hand to right hand so b into d will be equal to k1 into a times k2 into c so then bd is equal to i can write k1 k2 times ac so Clearly, this particular term is an integer. Why? Product of two integer is always an integer. Okay, that means from the divisibility definition, I can say, I can say, what can I say? AC divides BD. Okay, so hence proved. Yeah, similarly, you can try the other uh, proof. So, so these are uh, the properties. Uh, regarding divisibility there are a few more which will take up in the other uh, session these uh, the other properties will be a little advanced properties which are normally used in uh, mathematical contests like mathematical olympiads so this this knowledge is good enough for j um, i'm sorry board level preparation for the other uh, um, let's say higher level stuff we'll have another session on that thanks a lot for watching this video